Hey everybody, in today's video I'm talking ChatGPT again and one really cool new feature that they've rolled out that's available in version 4 is the ability to upload images. So this is really helpful if let's say you've got financials you want to analyze. So in this example I'm going to use Tesla. They recently released their earnings numbers for the third quarter. So what I'm going to do is take a snapshot of this, save it, and upload into chat GPT and see what kind of a summary you can make for me based on based on that information. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. So this entire financial summary here. So we've got all this in here now. We've already got the percent changes and things like that, but we've got it in there. And so there I saved the Tesla Q3 file. Hit OK. So it's been Statching, there we go. So just like if you were to send the image to somebody on WhatsApp or whatever, you see the preview in there to make sure you've got the right one. So I'm gonna say, okay, analyze Tesla's most, most recent Q3 numbers. How did the company do? And so now we see the upload in there. And so now ChatGPT is you know, going through its analysis. So as you can see, instead of having to, um, you know, copy this in as an Excel table, you can just use an image on here. So you can see it's doing its normal analysis. So automotive revenue, you know, had 5% year over year growth. You know, it's looking at the profit, uh, gross profit and, and margin. So one of the things that, you know, analysts noticed noticed on the company's earnings report was that the company's uh, gross pro profit margin fell because you know they've been reducing prices, and that's something that um, you know it it highlights in here that the gross margin decreased to to seventeen point nine percent, right? So it's uh, you know really you know a d decent analysis as far as that. I mean it's it's quoting the things that you would already see the forty four percent decline, but that's already got it in there, but. I've seen it before that, that ChatGPT can do this analysis all on its own if you just copy and, and and paste a table. So I mean, you could also do ask it for some specific follow-ups and and doing that. But as you can see, it's doing you know a, a lot of um, a summary for you. In some cases, you know, like other companies may not give you this breakdown of percentage, but you can see it's correctly comparing. The, the data, like we've got automotive revenue 19.625, which is correct, that's what we've got in there. You know, and that had a 5% growth, which again is, is comparable. You've already got the percentages in there, but you know, it's still pulling out the correct numbers from the right places. You know, it's recognizing this is Q3 of the current year, so it's, it's doing that properly. You know, operating expenses at 24.14, an increase of 43%, and Yep, sure enough, we got 24, 43%. So it's pulling in the right information and doing a, a good high level analysis and mentioning, you know, all, all sorts of important things that investors might be interested in, like net income, earnings per share, cash flow, um, investments. So it says from this analysis, ta Tesla managed to grow its revenue in non queries like energy generation and storage. Let's take a look at that's right. So ge energy generation and storage. So that is true. So they did show good growth there. So that's good. And um, the company has faced cha challenges in maintaining profitability. Obviously, their their earnings dropped. The sharp decline in gross profit, operating income, and net income suggest increased operational cost or strategic investments. The decline in free cash flow might be a point of concern for investors, and that is that is true as well. Because one thing I noticed, free cash flow dropped by seventy four percent. So that is a is a pretty steep drop. And again, Chat GPT is pointing that pointing us to that direction. So the next steps would be to delve deeper into Tesla's guidance for upcoming quarters, the strategic investments or decision that led to increased expenses, as which we know, well, not necessarily expenses, but we know the margins came under pressure because of lower prices and any external factors that might have affected their performance. Understanding, understanding the opportunities and challenges the company faces in the future will provide a more comprehensive view of its outlook. So overall, I think it's a really good analysis, um, you know, a good high level, uh, analysis and obviously you could extend this into other screenshots and analysis that you wanted uh, to do. I think, um, and as you can see, there's no 
crazy prompt I had to set up here. You know, I just said, okay, analyze their Q3 numbers. How did the company do? Didn't have to say, okay, act as an equities analyst, do all this sorts of stuff that you might see from other videos about ChatGPT. You know, ChatGPT knows how to analyze the data. And so just giving it the picture, telling it, hey, analyze this. How did the company do? And, you know, it, it, it covered, I would say, the main points. I don't know what else really that you could have mentioned from this snapshot. It got all the main things, the, you know, the revenue increase, sure, but there was a problem with the margins, problem with the cash flow. So I identified all those key things. So I think really, really cool because prior to this, prior to being uploaded, being able to upload images, you would have to uh, potentially copy and paste this into into Excel and load it into ChatGPT. So I think with this upgrade, it's a lot better and a lot more useful. So that's how you can use ChatGPT, the latest version, version four, um, the upload images in there, just take a screenshot, load it in there and ask it what you want it to do and analyze. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of that. Hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.